Hi everyone, welcome to another video on stock analysis. My name is Shantanu and in this video, I'm going to be talking about another stock, interesting stock, which is in my portfolio. And the name of this stock is NIT Technologies. Now I'm going to be talking about the history of the company first, and then um, I'll talk about the business model, financial model, my personal opinion, and then followed by technical. So before I start with the history of the company, I would like you to know that I'll not be talking about the history of NIIT Technologies since it is a subsidiary of NIIT. I'll be mainly talking about NIIT, how NIIT formed and what is the story behind the formation of the company. So I'll start with the history of the NIIT now. Uh, NIIT was brought to life by uh, none other than Mr. Shiv Nadar himself who is the founder of HCL Technologies. So he pumped 1 million rupees into NIIT when it, when it was being founded by uh, two IIT Delhi graduates, Mr. Pawar and Mr. Thadani. Now in 2011, uh, Mr. Pawar stated that when he was working as a corporate planner at HCL, he realized that there is a gap, huge gap between uh, Indian manpower and computers. So he wanted to bring the Indian manpower and the computers together and that's how the uh, idea of, NI of setting up NIIT came up. Now when NIIT was being set up, many people uh, convinced Mr. Pawar, tried to convince Mr. Pawar that this was a bad idea and if he would invest in this business, it would just mean that he is burning cash. Now after months of pondering, Mr. Pawar finally moved forward with the idea by going forward uh, with a franchisee model. Now instead of uh, implementing the traditional franchisee model, what he did was he added an Indian tadka into it. So what do I mean when I say uh, Indian tadka? What Mr. Pawar did was he contacted the most reputed and uh, uh, respected families of his community and other communities and he asked them to sign up as uh, a franchisee to their franchisee model. And as you all know, Indians put great emphasis to respect and pride and something called as Izzat, uh, which we call in Hindi. Uh, most of the families signed up for this uh, franchisee model as a franchisee and that's how uh, Mr. Pawar was able to expand his NIIT business. Now you might already know this, NIIT is an educational training business where it trains uh, people with IT knowledge. And so in 2002, the company uh, witnessed a huge surge in revenues from its uh, software production team. And that's when they decided to set up a subsidiary called as NIIT Technologies uh, because this huge surge in revenue was far greater than the revenues they earned from their uh, conventional education business. So that's how NIT Technologies got formed and this was the history of uh, NIT along with NIT Technologies. I'll now talk about the business model of NIT Technologies. So NIT Technologies offers services like uh, asset management, risk management, uh, mutual funds. They also provide services to softwares uh, which are associated with banks. Um, airlines and so on. Now in 2014, NIT Technologies for into the market of Latin America and Ireland. And this is important because uh, when they did so, when they foreign into the market, they especially got involved with the airline industry. Now when I say they got involved in the airline industry, I mean to say that they had clients who were already in the air, airline business and uh, NIT Technologies provided services to these clients. And this is important because this had a direct impact uh, in their revenue uh, for this for the for the past quarter uh, when the pandemic started. I'll talk about this in detail in the financial section, but for now, just know that they are heavily involved in the airline business. So yeah, to sum it up, NIT Technologies business model is pretty simple. They provide end-to-end -end comprehensive solutions and services in the fields of cloud computing, application management. Uh, data migration, data development and so on. So this was all about the business model of NIT Technologies. I'll now talk about the financials of the company. Now remember I talked about how they were hugely and heavily involved with the clients in the airline industry. And as you might already know, since the pandemic happened, there's a, there has been a huge negative impact on the travel and tourism industry along with the airline industry as well. So the same effect can be seen in the revenues of NIT Technologies as well. That is because the airline industry clients weren't willing to pay them up. And so this has made a negative impact in the financial performance of NIT. So NIT derives approximately 13% of its revenue from the airline industry 
and uh, the performance in the previous quarter has been pretty bad. They only earned 5% of their revenue from the airline industry. That being said, the company says that this loss in revenue has been compensated uh, from revenues from other businesses and other verticals. So liquidity is another one of the uh, major strongest point of the company and the company is virtually debt free. Their profit after tax is increasing on a year on year basis and their revenue is also increasing on a year on year basis. Now this was all about the financials of the company. I'll now uh, talk about my personal opinion and what do I think of the company. So according to me, the one weakness that I could find is that uh, NIT Technologies belongs to a tier 2 group. Now when I say tier 2 group, I mean that uh, there are other players, other stronger players that are in this sector. So what happens is when it comes to large scale projects, uh, people generally prefer tier 1 group companies instead of tier 2 group companies and that's why NIT has faced challenges in bagging uh, large scale projects. Now this is only me nitpicking weaknesses. Uh, I truly believe that the company will do good in the near future. The reason for that is that uh, in the previous quarter the company said that it has bagged a USD 30 million project and so like I said the company is uh, virtually debt free, uh, the liquidity is strong, the balance sheet is looking good, company is improving on, uh, on the revenue basis, it has been increasing its profit after tax and revenue on a year on year basis and so that's why I really like this company and uh, I have this company in my portfolio. So that was all about my personal opinion. I'll not talk about the technical levels. So let's move on to the technical chart. Right guys, so you can see the technical chart on the screen. Uh, the company is now consolidating a bit. It has been consolidating from August 6th. And the stock is now trying to bre break the resistance of 2030. If the stock goes above 2030, then um, it is again a buy. And if it stays above 199 then it is also uh, a buy the nearest support that you can find is stand, stands at uh, 1940 if the stock goes below that then we can see some correction happening the stock can go below to uh, 1760 level so this was all about NIT technologies and I really hope you like this video if you really like the content and like my efforts then please do uh, like this video and comment and subscribe. I'm also planning to start uh, a new service which is review my portfolio. So what you can do is if you like me to review your portfolio, you can comment down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, of course, this service is free of cost and I'm only planning to do this for first 10 users. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video.